Today, let's talk about security, okay? I have two brand new Eufy security cameras here. I have the S340 and the E340. And there's a lot of similarities, but there's obviously some differences here. First of all, I'll just kind of give you some quick specs. They're both 3K cameras. They have 360 degree vision capability and also they have an eight times hybrid zoom on both of these i'm getting some serious r2d2 vibes from these these are super cool hey let's go ahead and get these mounted and i'll go over some more specifics just to be clear yuffie did send me these cameras to evaluate first off i'm going to mount the s340 and right off the bat you can see what makes this one unique is that it has solar power solar charging I know everybody loves this. Let's go ahead and peel this off real quick. Ah, yes, wasn't that satisfying? All right, let's get this mounted. First thing I'll say is the solar panel that comes with it, you can either mount it on top as I've done here because this is gonna be perfect for me, or if you need to mount it in a different location, you can mount it differently because this will mount anywhere and then run the cable to the camera. I'm actually gonna mount this on my chicken coop <laughs> because when we hear the chickens going crazy out here at night, I wanna be able to see what they're doing and I can just barely get my Wi-Fi signal out here. And this way that'll give me a clear path to be able to look, especially being able to utilize the 360 capabilities. And just like that, that easy. It just clips right on, I'm good to go. I do obviously need to get some sun exposure on this solar panel and this works out perfect because this is facing south so my panel, you always want your, if you're above the equator, you want your solar panels to face south to get the most exposure. And all I need to charge this is two hours of exposure every day. And this will be no problem. I will get plenty of sunlight here. All I have to do is download the Eufy security app onto my phone. And then once that's downloaded, I just have to connect my devices to it. And that is super easy. Right now I've got it set to pan and tilt and that is so cool first off because i've never been able to do that with a security camera there's a chicken there's a chicken crossing the road right there why is he doing that all right i'm gonna walk into the shot over here and you see oh that's all right that is awesome so the ai tracking right now is tracking me as a human to see where i'm doing this is i'm not controlling any of this this is it doing this automatically That is super cool. So I'm about 20 feet away from it right now. And you can see it tracking me. I'm kind of gonna go behind the trampoline here. That'll probably throw it off, but it doesn't. Huh, that's pretty wild. If you push that little icon in the bottom right corner of the zoom screen, it'll move everything into landscape mode. I really like this a lot. I like the landscape mode. What are those pesky chickens doing? Uh, nothing right now, nobody's home. Up there in the top right is the manual alarm. You can turn that on. I'm not gonna do that right now. Pushing the gear icon will take you into the settings mode where you can, there's just a ton of different things you can adjust here. One of the main things is the dual view and the single view for your cameras. I like having the dual view on. Also, an interesting thing is that you can add a privacy zone. You know, if something is none of your business, if you wanna keep your neighbor's yard out of your view, you can do that. On the bottom far left of the menu is the record button. Push that and yep, it records <laughs> what the camera is seeing. To the right of the record button is the sound button. You can turn sound off or on. To the right of that is the microphone. Hold that down to speak. To the right of that is the pan and tilt button. And if you've been watching, I've already demonstrated how that works, which is pretty good, I must say. While you're in pan and tilt mode, if you push that little button over there on the far right, it'll take you to any of your four preset locations that the camera will move to when you touch those. Next is the light. I can turn the light on. Obviously that doesn't do much good during the day, but I'm just gonna show it to you. Screenshot, let's take a screenshot. Ooh, saved a phone album. Night vision, black and white color. Let's turn that to color. Obviously we're not using that right now, but we will later. AI tracking, I've already shown you how that works, but if you wanna turn it off, you can turn it off here. I'm gonna leave it on. And then the 360 degree round look, you push that and it basically just spins around and gives you a view of everything. 
The Eufy Cam has a 3K wide angle lens and a 2K three times zoom lens. Zoom in on the app and you get eight times zoom. Next, I'm gonna mount the E340. And I think it's kind of obvious right off the bat, one of the biggest differences between the E340 and the S340 is the E340 has these spotlights, floodlights, I should say. Oh, there it is, there it is. Let's get a close up of it. Oh, and the second one. Warning, bright light. Now these floodlights are really adjustable. You can send them out all the way to the side, all the way to the front, and then you can also angle them straight out or down. Now, one thing I didn't mention on the other camera is that you can mount these, either one of these, you have the ability to mount up against a wall or under an eave. And as it is set up right now, this one is set up to mount to the wall, which is what I'm going to do. Also, another difference between the E340 and the S340 is the E340 is hardwired. So for the solar powered one, that was amazing for me to be able to set it out by the chicken coop because I had no power out there. But for our greenhouse in the front yard here, I do have power run to it. So it's the perfect location. And I'm gonna mount it over here on this eave on the right side. And that way, because of the 360 degree capabilities, I'll be able to see all the way behind the greenhouse where I haven't been able to see before, all the way to the front. So it's gonna give me some unique vantage points. By the way, I will put links to these cameras in the description box. Right, Yuffie gives you this little hook here. That I can just hang right there while I connect my wires. Oh, guess what? By the way, I don't even need these wire connectors because they have a built-in one. So all I have to do is line up the right colors. Let's tighten that down. I'm just gonna hang it on there. And slide it down. And I'm just gonna lock it into place with the screws provided. Now we've got the light testing. I'm gonna go into the light setting here and manual light. So I can adjust the brightness of this. This is only halfway. Let's go ahead and crank it up. Boom. That thing is blinding, okay. All right, I'm gonna cut the floodlight off. Boom, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wondered how well the AI tracking would work at night. And as you can see, it actually works quite well. That's pretty cool. I don't have one, but you can pair a Eufy home base with the floodlight cam and get continuous 24 seven recording. I think these new Eufy security cameras are probably one of the best ways to protect your home day or night. And speaking of night, check this video out right here and see an awesome way to light up the night. And I will see you next time.